Things have definitely been getting better with you around, Nicole. Oh, thank you, sir. But unfortunately, it's not enough. Hopefully that representative from Foley Six Circus can bring us the views we need. Yeah, well, I've gotten word that he, or she, is heading here now. Who do you think it could be? Probably some fat slob from the slums of Alabama or something. <laughs> You. That's right, you wrinkly some bitch. I'm here to keep your evil ass in check and run your show better than you ever did. Over my dead fucking body. I'd rather eat shit in hell than work with trailer park trash. Oh, then by all means. You can catch this million dollar ass whooping right here right now. How about I just get Roman in here? You'll be digging my boot out your ass before you can even get the chance. All right, all right. Break it up, boys. First off, Steve, I'm a big fan. Love your shtick in the Attitude Era. Thank you for that. And Mr. McMahon? Let's just hear him out, okay? Like you said, we need bigger numbers, right? Okay, so you're Mick Foley's representative, after all. Hell yeah! And he made sure to tell me that I have free reign to book whatever the hell I want, including the main event of tonight's episode. What? We already have a main event. Kota Ibushi versus Will Ospreay. You trying to put these people to sleep, you uppity son of a bitch? Fuck that. What you need is a damn bloodbath. GCW Extreme Championship on the line. Roman Reigns, gotta hand it to the kid. He whooped my ass, but Mox is out for blood, which is the exact thing he's gonna get tonight. What? That's just ridiculous. Who'd ever want to see that bullshit? Tell him, Nicole. I actually. Kinda like the idea. It'll definitely get the viewership up. What? But... Shit! Fine. But know this, Austin. I'll be watching you. Like a hawk. Every idea you have is gonna have to go through her from here on out. That's fine with me. <laughs> All right. I guess we're partners. Looks like it. Pleasure meeting you, Miss Nicole. Now. We got a main event to play. If you're ready to see John Moxley and Roman Reigns whipping each other's asses, give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, hey. There's someone I want you to meet. With the changes made earlier in the day, the opening contest for GCW Live was for the GCW Championship. Lord have absolute mercy. These two warriors know each other like the back of their hand. One first right up at the top, but Osprey just able to get on his feet. How in the absolute hell did he do that? Osprey going for the off cutter. Cut up, Bushy with the reverse rata. Reverse rata. Got a pump kick to Osprey. And now, Kamagoye incoming there. No! Spanish fly from the challenger. And this match is just absolute insanity. And I think the cleaner Kenny Omega would agree so as well. And now Osprey looking to finish things off with the off cutter one more time. Countered into the Kamagoye. Right off the bus. Koda Ibushi gets his revenge and retains his title all the same. And Osprey always coming so close, but in the end, it was not enough once again. The second match of the night, undefeated Switchblade Jay White had to put his Intercontinental Championship on the line against Drew McIntyre. Jay White doing all he can to try and fight off the strength and power of Drew McIntyre, but you can only go so far, but bringing up far, he was sent all the way across the ring with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex by Drew McIntyre. And now Drew's just trying to throw him around like a rag doll. But speaking of throwing around, Jay White with the vicious belly-to-back suplex onto Drew McIntyre. And now Jay White spikes him with that DDT, and this could be it. Drew McIntyre could be out cold here. No, he does not retain the title, and Drew McIntyre is still in the match. And now Jay White tried to go for that sleeper suplex. Drew McIntyre off the ropes. Wait, back and forth these men are going, but Drew McIntyre puts a stop to it by dunking Jay White to the outside. Now, I think this might be the most fearful that Jay White's ever been in regards to his intercontinental title reign. Drew McIntyre pulling out moves that, that, that aren't really characteristic for him, but look at this. Of course, the Bullet Club get involved as Jay White 
drives the back of Drew McIntyre onto the steps and onto the floor. It seems as though whenever Drew McIntyre gets some momentum, miraculously, Jay White gets it right back in his favor. And now back in the ring, Jay White going to drop Drew McIntyre on his head, but McIntyre avoids it. McIntyre just too strong with that Death Valley driver onto the champion. Dead on his head, Drew McIntyre might just become new Intercontinental Champion here tonight. Looking to finish things off here, running him into the corner, back suplex there, but Jay White able to land on his feet. Sleeper suplex, dunks him right on his head and looking to transition into the Blade Runner. Can he hit it onto the giant that is Drew McIntyre? Wait, McIntyre able to get out of the way, play more kick. Jay White just able to avoid it, goes for the Blade Runner, but wait, Drew McIntyre still up on his feet, two steps ahead, Drew McIntyre with the future shock, but look at this, Jay White able to roll into the pin, and he gets the win and survives the onslaught that is Drew McIntyre. Well then, today's your lucky day, because I'm dying to see your ass in action. How about tonight, you face off against Rob Van Dam in a no DQ match? Now Rob Van Dam looking to do this monkey flip onto the steel chairs. Jesus Christ. The back of G-Man crashing onto those solid steel chairs. And now Rob Van Dam looking for the rolling thunder. G-Man got right back up into the rampage. DDT onto the chair. I think he just killed Rob Van Dam. And what a win for Mike Cousin here on his debut match on an episode of GCW Live. I cannot be prouder. Then, in the main event, John Moxley got a shot at the Tribal Chief for the Extreme Style Championship. Now Roman Reigns looking to finish what he started all those weeks ago onto John Moxley, spin through the table. No, Moxley was able to get out of the way, was able to avoid that predicament here. Paradigm shift onto the chairs. This could be it. Roman Reigns might just be dethroned here at JCW Extreme. No! Just able to get the shoulder up. And Moxley can't believe it! And now look at this. Doesn't this look familiar? Moxley looking to put a poetic oh justice no, onto on. the name of Roman Reigns. But Roman Reigns, with the help of Jey Uso, gets the spear in. And just like that, the vengeance of Moxley has been thwarted by the bloodline. Next weekend, GCW returns full-time with part one of the Royal Rumble.